Let's talk about the git bisect command and this command comes really handy when you need to find a bug which has been introduced in your previous commit history. Before I show you the git bisect command, let's try to focus on this particular example where I have introduced multiple commits and there is a one bug which is existing which we need to find using the git bisect command. Here onto the screen you can see on the left hand side this is my git commit history where I have added a feature from feature number 1 to feature number 18. And on the right hand side you can see these are the files which are associated with my feature. So whenever I developed a new feature I added a new file inside my code repository. Although it's a text file but the same concept will work onto your actual application code which you are committing into your github repository. As you can see, there are multiple commits which exist in my git commit history and somewhere down the line into those commits, I have introduced a bug which I need to find with the help of git bisect command. So first of all, I'm going to tell you like where I have introduced the bug. So if I take a look onto this particular new slides, then here you will see that I have highlighted the feature number 11 text file. This is where I have introduced a bug inside my code. So the text of this particular file is specifically contains a specific word which is called bug over here which you can see. And as I have shown you like I have done multiple commits. So I have done the commits for each file. So I have a really long history of commit from feature number 1 to feature number 18. And somewhere in between that feature number 11 is the one where I have introduced the bug. So with the help of git bisect command, we are just trying to locate this particular uh, bug inside my commit history. So that's the example which we are going to demonstrate using the git bisect command. To simplify the understanding of a git bisect command, I have just created this particular table where I have copied all the hash code of my 18 commits and all the commit message belonging to those uh, text uh, feature text file. One more thing to pay attention over here is the head. So this is the latest commit which I have pushed into my GitHub repository. So the head which is sitting onto the feature number 18 commit inside my GitHub repository. Also, I can show you from my terminal the same uh, commit logs over here. So I'll clear the screen and I'm going to run the command git uh, log and then I'm going to type one line over here. And here you can see these are the commits. So I'm only focusing on the commits which are uh, belonging from feature number 18 to feature number one, which you can see over here. So these are the commits where I'm going to focus on to run the git bisect command. All right, then how to start the git bisect? So the first command which we need to run is the git bisect start. And after that, we need to identify or we need to tell which are the good commits and which are the bad commits. Don't worry, I'm going to show you over here. So onto the terminal, you can run the command. First of all, git bisect start. And after that, it is going to throw a message like uh, waiting for a good and bad commits, which you can see over here. So these are the things which we need to again mention, like which are good and which are bad commits. All right. Don't worry. Uh, we are going to take a look onto this particular uh, good and bad and how we can uh, specify those or how we can tag our commits as a good commits or as a bad commits. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go back to our slide. So we have started our git bisect. Now the next thing is we just need to test whether we have the bug in the system or not. So to do that, we are going to run the command grab bug text. So I have started the git bisect and now I'm looking out for like, uh, okay, is there any bug exist in my system? So this command we are going to run multiple number of a time unless and until we identify that specific commit. So we are just getting started and we have a list of 18 commits right now uh, with me. So if I go and run the command uh, like the grab here, I can type bug and then I can put a wild scar then txt. Although it's a grab command, but in your case, you can have a Python application. Then in that case, you can execute your Python application or a Node.js application, or if it's a Java application, then keep on running that Java application uh, so that you are running the Git bisect uh, parallelly along with, the, with your application, which is running. So as soon as you uh, identify those commits and once you discard those commit, then you will be able to test that, yeah, your application is working fine. Okay, so I'm going to run this particular command over here and here you can see uh, the result is feature 11. This file contains a bug. So yes, we know that 
the feature number 11.txt file had a bug and the command is also reflecting that which means uh, we need to treat uh, this particular commit as a bad commit okay now let's get back to our uh, uh, table over here so i have started uh, the git bisect over here now i need to denote my commit as a bad commit but which commit is going to be the bad commit so since we have just started this particular uh, like a git bisect then the head will be sitting on to your latest commit which is this one over here okay so if you don't specify like which commit you are going to specify as a bad commit then it is going to take this commit as a bad commit because this is the latest commit where your head is sitting okay or else you can manually copy this hash code and specify yeah this is your bad commit okay so the next command which i'm going to run over here is the git bisect bad and as soon as you may run this particular command then here you can see this particular commit which is your fee for feature number 18 is going to be treated as a bad commit because as you can see here the bug is visible this if the result uh, if this is showing no result which means the bug doesn't exist okay so now uh, what we need to do uh, i will run the command git bisect and then bad and then hit enter and here you can see uh, the, the next message it is showing now we need to specify the good commit okay we have specified the bad commit which you can see uh, from the table over here and now we also need to specify the good commit from where the bug was not existing so here if you take a look onto the table then yeah this is fine we have tagged it and we also know that yeah feature number 11 i remember that it was working fine so it could be any commit in the history which you think like maybe a month ago maybe a two month ago which you can think or assume that yeah this was the feature which was working in the past so for me this was the feature number one which was working really fine uh, in the past so what i will do i will make this particular commit which is a commit number uh, or the feature number one as a good commit so the command for that one is we need to use the git bisect good along with your hash so here you can see the hash which is starting with or ending with the 480 and here this is the same hash we need to use it the previous bad command was like my head was sitting on top of it so i don't need to specify it will just assign the bad commit on top of it but for specifying the good commit we just need to use the exact hash over here okay so now i'll go back to my terminal uh, which is over here then i would like to know my hash so git log one line and here i need to find the commit number for feature number one and here i'll copy this hash i'll clear the screen and then i'm going to run the command git bisect and then specify good and then the hash and then hit enter okay so uh, as soon as you specify this particular uh, good commit then you can take a look onto this particular table and see so now you have a bad commit and you have a good commit so in between these two commits we have a bug we already know the bug is existing on 11 but yes we need to prove that yeah this uh, feature number 11 we should be able to find using the git bisect command now the next thing after assigning your good commit the header or the pointer of our git bisect command has moved to the feature number 9 which is over here and how does it happen because as i already told you it is a binary search so once we have defined the uh, good and the bad commit then it is going to find a middle commit uh, using the binary search algorithm and the middle commit is going to be the ninth commit and that's where we need to again test whether this ninth feature has introduced any bug or not okay but how would you know that pointer has moved to the ninth bug so that's the question which you should be worried about so now if i go and take a look onto the terminal so here this was the last command which we executed which is like a git bisect good onto our first commit hash which is ending with 480 if you take a look then here you can see at the bottom it is a 480 okay so after that on the terminal it will tell you where the 
head has been moved or the bisect pointer has been moved okay so here it has moved to the feature number nine okay now once the uh, that pointer has moved to the feature number nine if you take a look onto the nine then you don't know whether it's a good commit or bad commit and to identify that we just need to run our command which is our grab bug dot txt again all right so here uh, uh and also one more thing so now the pointer is on the feature number nine and we already know the bug has introduced on 11. so if i run this particular command grab bug text then i should not see any result because feature number nine is a good commit all right so let's go and run the command uh grab then i'll use the keyword bug and then after that wildcard then txt and hit enter and here you can see there is nothing has been written which means the bug has never been introduced at the feature number nine so if bug has not been introduced then we should mark this commit as a good commit so if you take a look then i'm going to run the next command which is like a git bisect good with the hash and this hash belongs to the feature number nine over here okay you can see over here all right now what i'll do i'll just go back and uh, i'll just run the command uh, git bisect good and then the commit so which is this commit okay this is the uh, like a longer version of a hash but if you see the starting it is or maybe i can just take the one which is more relevant with my slide which is ending with 4e let's take a look 4e okay so i'm gonna paste over here and set it to good commit okay now as soon as you uh, mark that feature number nine as a good commit then your pointer has moved to the feature number 13 okay so let's take a look onto the table once again so now we have marked this as a good commit so now this is marked as a good and the scope is now like it will now search between these two commits okay so initially we started from 18 and 1 but now we have reduced that scope between the 18 to 10th all right uh, sorry 18 to 9th all right and now after running or after marking this as a good commit then if you take a look onto our terminal that pointer has moved to the feature number 13 so let's take a look onto the table so here uh now our pointer has moved to the feature number 13 and again i'm going to run the grab bug command so that i can test whether this 13 feature has introduced any bug or not so again i'm going to run this particular command that grab bug test and as i know that uh, yes we introduced the bug at a feature number 11 so feature number 13 should return the result and here you can see the feature number 13 uh my pointer is at feature number 13 and i know that 11 was the bug so yes it is resulting me the bug so what i can do i can simply run the command let's take a look onto the slide so i will run the command git bisect bat for feature number 13 commit so which is this one and which is this one so it is exactly matching okay and it is ending with the 14 so i'll go back to my terminal and here i'm gonna copy the hash and i'm gonna put git bisect bad and then gonna hit the hash or i'm just gonna paste the hash over here and here you can see now we have added that the bad flag over the feature number 13 and as soon as you mark that feature as a bad then the pointer has moved to the feature number 11 okay let's take a look onto the table over here so now we have marked that feature number 13 as a bad commit which you can see over here this is marked as a bad commit okay and after we marked it it is again going to search for the middle between these two commits so here the middle is going to be this one feature number 11 this is where we will find it okay all right so now what we are going to do uh, let me go to the next slide so yeah now my pointer is at feature number 11 and then i'm going to run the command once again to see whether that feature number 11 has that bug or not so again let's get back to terminal and then run the command git not git i'm gonna run grab uh, sorry i'll just uh, copy it from my previous so here i'm gonna run the same command to search it and here you can see yes it contains a bug so again i'm going to mark this feature number 11 as a bad commit so here if you go to the slide then i'm gonna mark this as a bad commit so here if you take a look onto the hash which is ending with 63 and this is also same over here so i'm going to treat this as a bad commit okay let's go back and uh, run the command git 
bisect bad and then the commit so let's see the commit is ending with the 63 so i'm going to copy the commit hash from here and paste it over here and here you can see i'll just move a bit so now we have marked that 11 as a bad commit and the pointer has moved to the 10th commit over here okay so now if you take a look onto the table then here uh, we have marked this as a bad commit which is this one and now the pointer has moved to the 10th 10th uh, commit which is this one okay and it is just that i already told you that feature number 11 is the buggy commit so but in reality you don't know when you are running these kind of a setup so again now the pointer has moved to the 10th commit then we need to evaluate this 10th commit as well to understand whether this 10th commit contains the bug or not okay so now the pointer is moved to the 10th commit then let's run the command once again so here you can see this is pointer is coming uh, is on to the 10th uh, commit now let's run the command uh, which is grab bug and then hit enter and here you can see there is no result when i executed this command which means our 10th commit is a good commit all right so what i will do i'll clear i'll copy this particular hash which is ending with uh, let me take a look which is ending with 34b for the 10th commit which we need to mark it as a good commit okay so now uh, i'll copy this commit hash and clear the screen and i'm gonna run the command git bisect good and then put the hash over here and here you can see uh, that we have marked our 10th commit as a good commit okay so let's take a look onto the diagram once again so here you can see now we have marked as a good commit so now we have uh, reduced the search there is not any more commit to go and look for whether it's a good or bad commit because we have reduced the scope and now we are on to 10th and 11th and we know that there, is, there are not any more commit left in the git history to search for also keep in mind as soon as the commit is found and you found that particular bug commit then the message of this particular uh, our, uh, like a git bisect will change so here you can see that uh, this message which you can see here it is not telling you that where pointer has moved but it is just giving you the detail about the commit which has introduced the bug so it is telling me that feature number 11.txt has introduced the bug and it has been introduced on september 7th and he the author which is rahul Wal, who has introduced this bug into the system all right and if you run the command now uh, let's clear the screen and uh, the git uh, bisect and log then you should be able to see over here so here uh, the first bad commit which is feature number 11 and rest of the commits which you can see all are tagged as a good and bad so this is how you can uh, like run the git bisect command and uh, although i have simplified using this table but you can keep uh, the history of those commit uh, onto somewhere into your notepad if you have a really long history because this will help you to understand and identify and locate that particular bug using the bisect command